Thank you for joining the IPCO technical team in our instructional video of connecting to your light reader via wireless PC while your light reader is connected to a Wi-Fi router via Ethernet cable. For this video, you will need two Ethernet cables. So before we get started, there's one program that we're going to need. So I went to Google and we're going to need the device installer for Lantronics. So I'm going to go ahead and search device installer. And you see here, device install Lantronics. You can go to www.lantronics.com and go ahead and install this device installer uh, before we get started. You're going to need it later on. And once you get it installed, uh, here's pretty much what it looks like. So um, go ahead and open it up. Make sure it looks like this. And then you can go ahead and close it until we get to it later. The first thing that we need to do is connect our reader uh, using the Webmin tool. We need to get into the Webmin tool and change the configuration of our reader. So I went into Internet Explorer. Before I go to the Webmin tool, I'm going to go to the right corner, select Open Network and Sharing Center, and just pretty much make sure that my PC is in the same subnet as my reader. So I'll go to Change Adapter Settings. See that the Ethernet cable says Unidentified Network, which is normal. Right click, select Properties, Internet Protocol Version 4. And I'm going to select use the following IP address. My IP address right now is 10.19.1.51. Uh, I'm going through this pretty fast, but we have other videos uh, that explains this a little more in detail if you need to. So check out our YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and select OK. All right. Now, before we get started, I also need to go to compatibility view settings and make sure that that IP address is in there. So it is. Just type it in 10.19.1.51. Okay, you don't need a username or password. Okay, now once we get in, we need to make sure that it shows the correct firmware version and MAC address. It might show blank up here, and really, that only means that your IP address is not set correctly within your compatibility view settings. So we're going to go to network. Going to leave it on wired only, but instead of using this IP address, we're going to obtain the IP address automatically. And select OK. And we go over here and select apply settings. So we're going to have to give it a second. If you click out of it before you see the next screen, then it's not going to process correctly. So you need to wait till it gets to this point. It'll tell you, please wait, and it'll let you know when it's finished. All right. Now we're on to our Landtronics device installer. So go ahead and open up device installer. First thing we need to do, go to the right hand corner, select uh, open network and sharing center, move it over so you can see it. Okay, change adapter settings, find our ethernet cable, go to properties, protocol version four, and we're gonna set it back to obtain an IP address automatically. Select okay, okay again. Go ahead and close out of it. And we're going to select Ethernet and refresh. So if you needed to, you can go to options and choose whether it's set on wireless or Ethernet. Mine was already showing Ethernet. So we see once we refresh, you can see the IPCO uh, reader there. And we want to make sure we take note of this IP address. So if the IP address was kind of funky, like uh, way off, we can go up here to assign IP. We can actually assign the IP address to where it gets more in the range. Uh, it's pretty much going to get closest to whichever port you're using. So I'm using the Ethernet port, and if you look over to the left, it has 10.7.3.28 set to my Ethernet port. So I'm pretty sure this might be the closest IP address that you can assign to it. So it might just go ahead and assign it the same IP address. We'll see in a second. All right, that's finished. And 
yep it's still assigned to the same IP address so go ahead and take note of that 10.7.3.26 up here alright now we can actually go ahead if you click wireless you can see that it shows a connection wirelessly we can close out of this now what we're gonna do I just removed my Ethernet cable so now when I go down to the open network and sharing center you can actually select change adapter settings and see that both Ethernet ports are not connected to anything so right now I'm just wireless I'm clicking out of this and I'm gonna go to my command prompt type CMD open command prompt and you can verify connection easily by typing ping and the IP address that you took note of so 10.7.3.26 and you can see that I get replies four replies so that pretty much shows that it's, um, it's communicating correctly to the reader so I'm gonna close this out go to my dashboard type it in select it pull it over so you can see it and I'm gonna type in the same IP address 10.7.3.26 and we got a connection so I mean at this point um, if you need to you can go ahead and set the time I'm on the internet so I'm gonna set the time and I'm gonna reset my tags I always do that uh, but yeah so my light reader is connected to the wireless access point via Ethernet cable, and my laptop is actually free. So this concludes our video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our IPCO technical team at 1-877-692-0111. That's option one and then option four. Or you can email us at support at ipicosports.com.